Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get Grand Theft Auto 4 running through Crossover on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So Crossover is just one of the two main ways of getting Windows games to run on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you'd like to find out more about Windows gaming on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please check out my video tutorial. I'm going to leave a link to this in the video description. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to download the Crossover software. So if you click the link at the top of the description, you'll be taken to a 14 day free trial and you'll also be able to get a discount. So what we're gonna do is to click on this link. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. Once we get to the Code Weavers website, what we can do is just scroll down a little bit, then we're gonna to go to the crossover section here. And here we're gonna click the buy now button. And what you can do is to enter the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki, and if you apply this, then you'll get a 25% discount. What you can also do is to click the try now button, and if you enter your name and email address, then you'll be able to get a 14 day free trial. So all we're gonna do is to download the software and then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder and we're gonna double click on this crossover download. What we can do with crossover is hold and drag this and move it into the applications folder. So just let go of that here and that will fully install in your applications folder. So here I'm gonna find my crossover application and then I'm gonna double click on it. So you can ignore some of my pre-configured bottles here. What I'm gonna do now is click install a Windows application. So the version of GTA I'm gonna be installing today is gonna to be the one that's included with Steam. So here I'm gonna type in the word Steam and select the Steam bottle here. Here it's going to select our installer for us and also our bottle as well. It's creating a Windows 7 64-bit bottle and it's gonna be called Steam. And here we're gonna click install and it's gonna install all the dependencies that Steam requires in order to run the Windows version on the macOS operating system. So anytime a window comes up, just press yes. It's just going ahead and installing all of the necessary fonts. Now go ahead and press done. And then we've got our Steam bottle here and we can see that Steam is updating in the background. Once you get the window coming up, we can go ahead and log into our Steam account. If you don't have one, you can always create a new account. It's completely free. Here we're gonna log in. So now Steam has loaded up. So you can tell this is the Windows version because it has the maximize and minimize on the top right-hand side and in the Windows styling. So I'm assuming that you've already added this to your library. So if you don't have GTA 4 added to your Steam account, what you can do is to go to the store page and then you'll find the option here I'm going to click on the store page. If you don't already own this game, you can go ahead and purchase it. But here I'm going to go back to my library, go back to Grand Theft Auto 4, and basically what I'm going to do is click the install button, click next, and agree. Go ahead and let that download. So this is downloading a 22 gigabyte file, so just let that complete. So now that the game has fully downloaded, what I'm going to do is to open a crossover and then go to my Steam bottle. If we can't see the bottle here, we can enable bottles here. What we're gonna do is to hold down the control key and then control click on Steam and then make sure we're in settings that we have the DXV backend for D3D11 turned on. I believe that if we don't have this turned on, we won't be able to see the Rockstar launcher when it actually installs. So back to Steam, we're gonna press the play button here. This is gonna install Rockstar Game Social Club. Now we're gonna press the continue button, continue, continue and continue. Now that's complete, we'll click close. So it might take a little bit of time for the Rockstar Social Club to actually pop up. So this actually took a few minutes, and I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to appear in the end. However, if you're patient and you wait three or four minutes, then this will eventually come up. So now that the game is loaded, we can now choose between GTA 4 or Episodes from Liberty City. I'm gonna open up GTA 4. And now we have the standard options, and we're gonna and we can go ahead and play the game. Here I'm just going to enable the frame rate counter. So here I'm able to play the game GTA 4 using crossover on my M1 Max chip with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 32 GPU cores and 10 CPU cores. So this is actually running at quite a low frame rate. We've got a lot of the settings turned on to high. So this is not really going to help the graphics performance. This is because DirectX 9 32 bit games don't run very well through crossover, I'm afraid. And actually this would actually perform much better through parallels. However, it's an alternate way of being able to play this game. I think if I actually turn down the graphics, we'd actually get a decent frame rate. I'm gonna turn this down to low. I've turned most of these settings a little bit lower. I haven't restarted to apply the texture quality. However, we're getting a slightly better frame rate. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to check out my other videos on my channel, I have other tutorials including how to run GTA 5 through crossover on the M1 Mac chip. This actually runs much faster than GTA 4 does. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.